We're here at ISM Raceway, or Phoenix Raceway, for race number 22, the second to last race of the season, and the last race to make it in to the championship four. We all know Joe Jefferson's already in with a Darlington win, but the rest of the nine drivers will have to make it in. Make it in on points or win today's race. So where Joe Jefferson sits is actually fifth, but of course he, the uh, fourth place driver will be knocked out. As of now, Tim Randolph, Marcus Dacci, and Brad Cheston, those are the three looking to get in by points or winning it. They don't have a big points cushion. There's Tim Randolph in the 52s, shown a lot of. Uh, those teams are very consistent. Won the New Hampshire race, got in to the round of 10. All he needs is to win another or just get on by points. Chris Kyle is 7th right now. He starts alongside Tim Randolph. The next driver is the Tenna Derek Hamill, who probably needs to win as he sits 9th in the points. Josh Cage on the four, right behind him, who flipped over at Darlington. And the green flag is out. We're underway here at Phoenix. Ryan Hannigan leads them to turn one. Tim Randolph into 52. Well, Hannigan goes a bit wide, but uh, Phoenix has some grip on the outside. Here they come. Yeah, I put that in there. And again in the 63, goes way all the way to the top. I don't think the top is that good anymore. Stephen Oaks in the 21, right through the middle, leads the first lap. Into turn one once again. It's usually where the bottom line is better than three and four. Side by side, here they come. Couple of trucks scraping the wall. Tim Randolph in a 52. Hans Device going over. I think they just took the yellow. Yes, they did. They just took the yellow. Tim Randolph just takes the lead. Two one thousandths of a second. Hopefully that'll be the photo finish that uh, for today's race. And looks like uh, Ryan Butcher having issues with his truck. He's already two laps down. First caution of the day. We'll take a look at the replay. So Hans Device in a 50 truck. Battling with Wolf, trying to clear, almost got it. Gets close, pretty much took himself out, and he nearly goes upside down. Probably got saved by Chapman in the 51. Marcus attaching in the 97, the defending champ, and Brad Chesson in the 54, the O2, and Patrick Mew, and uh, Joe Jefferson, we already know. So, big championship implications for three drivers. Marcus Attachi. And Brad Chesson probably got the worst out of the th uh, of those three. So Mew probably just got away with just a couple scratches. Huge hit. That's definitely going to cost him. Because he currently has 3,068 points in second place entering the race. But I think that's it for him. To Brad Chesson in the 54. Well, actually, maybe Marcus actually got the worst. He might be out, but Cheston may be still in. Very little damage, well, compared to the 97, not as much damage. Got pinned to the wall, though. I think that's where most of the damage came from. The O2 just pushes his way through. So, two big key contenders involved in the first caution of the day. We'll take you back to the restart. Lights are out, getting ready for the green. Marcus Hitachi is out of the race. He's going to have a hope for a miracle right here. A big one. Pretty much needs like all playoff drivers behind him to crash. And finish where he's pretty much at top 25. And the green flag is out. Ryan Hannigan in the 63 trying to jump to the inside. Couldn't, couldn't make it. Down to the dog leg they go. Everyone uses it. 
And I'm gonna look outside, back to the inside. Right on his back bumper of oh, Fitzwater Sr. in a 49, a bit too high. Into the wall. Chris Collin to 33 in third. Remember New Hampshire. Max Anderson in the seven, who isn't in the playoffs. If he gets to his back bumper, he's probably gonna dump him. Maybe. Kevin Carter in the 75, we all know him. A disappointing season despite his Dover win. Now Regardless has a battle for the race lead. I probably need to fix that. Hannigan can't make second. Can't get this gun. Can't get the lead, man. Tim Randolph, 52 team, bringing another fast truck today. Huge pack behind. Oh, Adam McDowell getting into Kevin Carter. Look at him, three wide teammates getting into Josh Cajel in the mix. The four of Josh Cajel had a huge wreck at Darlington. He's basically, he, it's, it's win. It's only a win. I don't think he can make it on points. Unless they all wreck and finish very poorly. He's already got one. Now needs the rest to do so as well. Oh, trouble, trouble, oh, there they go. Caution, caution, caution. Yellow flag is out, Tim Randolph the leader. And we'll take a look at the replay. I don't even know where this one starts. It's out of 10 and a 16 spin out. Who, who, who spun out first? Okay, Alexander Rowe. 51 Chapman involved. He was right through the middle. Jake Jefferson came up, got into him. Collects the 16. And a 49, 45, 10, they wreck as well. Cody locked, he avoided it. And most of the guys he avoided, Tony Green. But then, looks like it was just going to be just that. And David Davison in a 3 runs into Chapman, launches him into the air. Sullius Wolf in the 3, in the 50, 66 gets in it. And Travis Chapman, he'll be the second playoff driver out, and he is, that's it for him. He is, has been eliminated, and he will not go for the championship. Great run by the 51 team all season long, but that's it. That's right on board with the three of David Davison. He was on the bottom and then he slid up. When he backed up, Chapman just stopped, but it wasn't enough. So that's it for the 51 team. And David Davidson will also pull it behind the wall. So that's two now. Two of them, but or but we know for sure that one is out for sure. Okay. Well, the second yellow of the day. We'll take you back to the restart. Alright, here we go. Getting ready for the green here. So the 51 actually had was... Their t t crew was actually servicing the truck. They had, actually, they had the thing jacked up. But it looks like the uh, gas tank was damaged. Fuel cell or what not. And they tried. They tried the 51 team. We really need to get back out there. Davidson's out. Wolf is out. Tim Randolph. Chris Kyle. Ryan Hannigan. Stepan Oaks. Max Irons in your top five. Pace truck is in. Here we go. Green flag. Back underway. Tim Randolph, I believe, going for his first championship. A well-known name in the ISCR. Picked up two wins this season. Looking for win number three. And a chance at a championship. Almost at the stage. Here comes Chris Kyle with a big run to the inside. Will it be as aggressive like a New Hampshire? Tim Randolph goes way, way wide. And Chris Kyle to his inside. He clears him. New leader, 33. Tim Randolph tries to take it in there way too hot. He's in the wall. Trying to get back down. He cuts off Ryan Hannigan. He probably didn't like that, and the yellow flag is out, and 
this will be the stage yellow. As it looks like it will be Chris Kell, the stage winner, but we'll see. Dog Fetchel until they reach the halfway point. We'll take a look at the replay. Back at the pack, Patrick Mew and Ryan Butcher. Season opener winner, the O2. Butcher just was two laps down, just knocks the O2 into the wall. And then both of them went around. Mew is currently fourth entering this race, but he would be out with Joe Jefferson winning Darlington. But he's still in it. Very minor crash with both of them. And uh, we'll take you take a look at the stage results first. So Chris Kyle, your stage winner. Tim Randolph second. Ryan Hennigan third. Max Aronson fourth. Stephen Oaks is fifth. Kevin Carter is sixth. Greg Kraft is seventh. Adam McDowell is eighth. Jeff Preston ninth. And getting the final point will be Lightning Blaze in the eight truck. So that is your top ten stage results. Or just the stage results. We'll skip you to the restart. All right, here we go. Lights are out. Getting ready for the green. Same amount of trucks still on the racetrack. So there's only two playoff drivers on the top ten as of now. The next one is the four Josh Cajo, who's in eleventh, who needs to win. Followed by the ninety-eight of Noodles, the ten of Derek Hamill, and then there's Joe Jefferson. Brad Cheston and a green flag waves. I think I missed one. Green flag. Great restart by the 33. Tim Randolph again. It's way too hot. Goes all the way up the racetrack. Costs him a lot of ground, a lot of speed. He's gonna get passed by Ryan Hannigan into one. Or not. He hangs on for a second. Three wide here, maybe even four wide. We need another caution here, and they might get it. Am McDowell just leaning against Greg Graff. And oh, there they go! Greg Graff upside down, right in front of Oaks. Oh, and the 98, nowhere to go. Derek Hamill just avoided it. Oh, the 02 gets collected. The 6 slides across the line, and Brad Cheston is out. Another one. And the yellow flag flies. Once again, Chris Kyle leading. We'll take a look at the replay. These guys are racing real hard for third place or fourth place. Adam McDowell, Greg Graff, and Max Anderson. McDowell just pushing, leaning on the 6, forcing him all the way up. That forces the 7 all the way up as well. And then Greg Graff just uh, gets into it, tips right over. Stepping Oaks on the 21, nowhere to go, but didn't receive a lot of damage. Josh Cajo made it through, Hyder, Cody Locke, Tony Green, Aureus, Derek Hamill, Legacy. A lot of drivers are able to avoid the 6, but back there, they're just piling into each other. First it was a 7, a 7, uh, whoops. Rewind that a little bit more. The 98 noodles. Yep, that's it for him too. He's the second one. Hard impact. Jake Jefferson. Then Brad Cheston runs to the back of him. His is not over yet. Ryan Butcher then gets into him. There's Patrick Mew in the 02. Alexander Rowe in the 16. Also trying to push us his way through. Greg Graff uh, just stopped after the start fin after crossing the start finish line on his roof. The 02. Was all on the, on the bottom, looking to make it through. And then Jay Jefferson just cuts all the way down, tried to save it. But just got into him. But very little damage on the O2 truck. He should be fine. Should be, yeah. But Brad Cheston, crossing his fingers here. The 98 is done. And we'll take you back to the restart. Here we go, lights are out, getting ready for the green. 22 trucks remain, and the O2 is actually out for a tire. Justin's out, 26th, Noodle's out, 27th, 97, 33rd, Chapman, 32nd, and Lady 2 24th. Green flag! That was a good restart by Chris Kyle. Still got 11 laps to go, though. Anything can happen here.
Josh Cato's made his way up to seventh place. We could somehow get to the lead. The one crazy story, Carter and Jeff Preston get into the get into each other into the wall. That's gonna happen. Chris Kyle, huge mistake. Tim Randolph back to the race lead with ten laps to go. Ryan Hagen in the 63. He almost pulled off a huge upset, I believe. Did he? At Michigan? Or was it someone else? I think it was him as well. Lightning Blaze has worked his way to third place, side by side with the 33. Oh, Tim Randolph, now he's in the wall again. Ryan Hannigan in the 63. Trying to get trying to get it, and he does, and the yellow flag flies. And oh wait, no, Ryan Hannigan was not one of the drivers. Who made it who could have almost made it in. And the yellow's out again. I didn't even keep count. But Ryan Hannigan's the leader. We'll take a look at the replay. It's Water Senior in the 49. These guys, they, they want to use that outside line again. But they're not taking it in as well. Might need to change that. Right in front of Joe Jefferson. Straight into the wall hard. Only destroys his truck and Alexander Rowe came into the picture. Runs into both the guys. Putting more damage on that 16 team. 16 truck. What a horrible season for Alexander Rowe. Just horrible. Horrible all the way around. First into the 18, then into the 49. I think he should just park at this point. But he might stay. Hans device just squeeze just goes in the middle. And yeah, that's about it. We'll take you back to the restart. Here we go, getting ready for the green here. Trouble, Ryan Hennigan's actually uh, a bit far ahead. Where's second? Tim Randolph is up in smoke. Tim Randolph, our points leader entering the race, is up in smoke. So was Al Agassi, but Tim Randolph. Issues with his truck, he probably cannot believe it. The 52 team and are about to take the green. Oh my god. This is not good for the 52. Oh, there's going to be some weird championship four here. Green flag. Someone's prayers are probably being answered right now. And oh, Ryan Hannigan. Way too wide in the one and two. Well, that's always been an issue. Here comes the eight. Going for, for the first career win. Chris Kyle in second. Josh Cajo in fourth position. Now the second highest, but he has to win. He has to win. There goes the eight truck. Way wide. Doesn't hit the wall, but loses with all the momentum and all the space and all that gap. Here goes Chris Kyle for the race three. Josh Cajo right behind him. And there's Tim Randolph. But the park it behind the wall. We still don't know what happened to his truck. Gearbox. Unbelievable. And there's a four in second. Oh, this is going to be crazy. Yeah, there goes Chris Kyle. Josh Cajo is winless all season. This could be it. He takes the lead with three laps to go. And no, the caution is out. The caution flag is out. The race is not over. We're going into overtime. For the final race of the round of ten. The elimination race. It's going to be wild here. We'll take a look at the replay. Joe Jefferson back here with Kevin Carter in 15th. Riding around, of course. And Carter, he just took him out off of two. Goes down, hits the wall, and comes sliding back onto the racetrack. There's the wall again. No. But a single truck crash brings out the yellow. And yeah, we'll see the results at the line. And reset the field. So Josh Cagel has to make two more laps and see if he makes it in to the championship four or not, or the round of four. Lightning Blaze in second will start alongside him on the outside. Ryan Hannigan, Trey Wright, Chris Kyle, Preston Hyder, Aureus, Oaks, Green, Locke, Lewis, Hamill, McDowell, Carter, David uh, Davison, Device, Rowe, and Jefferson. 19 trucks will restart the rest that's their official results and we'll now take you to overtime so here we go green white checkered overtime finish whichever one you want to call it fourth time in the playoffs or is it five I think it's five but Josh Cage on the four 
Probably one of the biggest underdogs. As he sets 10th in points in a must-win situation. Here we go. Green flag. Two laps to go. Left at Phoenix. Ryan Hannigan. Great restart. Already looking to the inside. Jeff Preston cuts in front of the 33 of Chris Kyle. Josh Cajo slips. They're three wide for the race lead. Season on the line. Jeff Preston takes it to the dogleg. Trying to make it four wide. Here they come in the three and four. Hannigan, lightning blaze. Oh, the 88 and the four. Sideways. Kyle's going to spin. Saves it. White flag. White flag. One more lap to go. Three wide into one. Trey Wright, Josh Cajo, contact, contact, more, so much contact. Trey Wright, able to get breakthrough. Here they come, three and four, last two corners to go. Last chance for Josh Cajo, can he do it? He's right there, can't quite do it, he slips, checkered flag is out. Trey Wright wins it at Phoenix. Well, that was a uh, crazy two laps. Wow. And it's set. Josh Cajo, uh, I'm pretty sure he needed to win that race, but who knows? Maybe he did make it in on my points. But uh, I'm not sure. And they all wreck at the end. These guys are not happy with each other. They did wreck under the white flag, but uh, we're not using the Arca rules. Not that we use Arca rules in the Arca series. But. Yep, once the leader takes the white, doesn't matter what uh, caution comes out. Trey Wright with his second win of the season. Uh, if he didn't get eliminated in the first round, this would have been a huge win. But what a drive by the 15 truck. I don't even know who was going to win that race. So many contenders. And no one could have predicted that. But let's, uh, let's take a look at the full race results. So Trey Wright winning it. Ryan Hannigan, Josh Cajo third. That uh, might hurt. Jeff Preston, 4th. Lightning Blaze, 5th. Oak, 6th. Locke, 7th. Hyder is 8th. Brad Lewis, ninth, And Adam McDowell, 10th. As your top 10 finishers. And let's take a look at the wrecks and all the craziness that happened. Look at this. 4 wide. They're really going at it. Derek Hamill also pushing through. Kevin Carter and Jacob Davis. And they go up against uh, into the wall. And we see Orius in the 87 nearly spinning out. Hans Device, Alexander Rowe. My god. What a crazy one. Almost triggered a second wreck. Uh, Kyle was basically a cushion for the 50. Pretty much uh, saved them from wrecking completely. And just a, what a crazy last lap. Look at them. They're three wide. How did they not wreck here? Josh Cajo right through the middle. Trey Wright to the 15. I thought these guys were going to wreck it. All five of those trucks were just going to go up into the wall. Trey Wright just pushing as hard as they can. Oh, they're sideways. They're going out of the groove. And that four truck was determined. He was not going to let... Well, he's doing every, the best he could. Oh, so close to not only the first win, but of course they move on to the round of, to the round of four. Oh, so close, so close. Finishing third, Ryan Hang on on the outside, able to beat him. Coming off of four. It's some crazy, crazy racing. Watch right here. This could have been a wreck too. Just slid right in front of the eight. Didn't allow Ryan Handing to go through. There's Trey Wright, who was fourth. Found his way through. There's Chris Kyle. He lost a lot of spots. Uh, probably going to cost him as well. Jeff Preston takes it to the dog leg. Wasn't close enough, but an aggressive move by the 88. I thought it was over when the four truck went out to the outside. He's just going to get passed by several trucks. But he made it stick. The 88 Jeff Preston came up. Both the trucks were sideways. How did they not wreck here? And then there's contact. Chris Kyle was sideways. Was on right in front of Orius. And Tony Green was there to help him. Everyone is scattering. Man, he also lost a lot of spots. Uh, Alexander Rohan's device get together as well. What chaos. Second to last race. We'll do that to you. But there, there you have it. Trey Wright winning it here at Phoenix. 
I'm gonna add up all the points, see who's in and see who's out. But uh, when else are you two victory lane? <laughs>